the asylum seekers in, uh, in Quebec, in Canada, is coming basically from uh, United States and the regular of Haitian people there. So I'm here to tell them exactly what uh, the Canadian immigration system is. And also there is some misinformation here circulating on uh, social media. So I'd like to rectify those. Uh, those Up to now, what I'm learning is things that we already know, that there is some misinformation, there was some uh, on social media, and maybe there is people, uh, how do you say that, not with a good mind who try to tell them what to do to come, but uh, also they said that there is a kind of uh, networking or thing like that, though we have to dig a little bit with that. So. You know, Canada is a welcoming country, and that's what the Prime Minister said. And at the same time, we have laws. We have laws that apply, especially in immigration. So people have to know that. And there is ways also to come to Canada instead of coming, crossing irregularly the border. The border you know? But we are I'm not telling the Asian people, no, they are to not come to Canada, no. They are welcome uh, to Canada, but there is ways to do that, like I did myself a few years ago. We, they can come as uh, between the family program, they can come economical program, and also the asylum program also. We take 300 and 300,000 people each year in the immigration system. But if they come regularly to Canada, the risk is they're gonna go back in about six months, a year or a year and a half, they're gonna go back to their country, you know? And if after a few days, let's say 30 days, they don't go back by themselves, well, they're gonna, we're gonna deport them. And if we deport them, the door is completely closed, even though for them or for the family for next time. So they have to be aware of our system and there is ways that they can come regularly. So that's why it's important for them to know uh, what's going on. We ask in Canada do is to respect uh, the basic rights of due process of those refugees coming from other places and then to put a moratorium on the, on the deportations to Haiti which they started after uh, uh, a few months ago. They stopped it after the earthquake and they restarted it. So we're asking them, Canada, to respect the basic rights of due process of refugees, of Haitian refugees and others going there. Second, um, put a moratorium on, on, uh, on uh, deportations to Haiti because I just came from Haiti and, and I can tell you I've never seen anything like this at the border uh, Dominicans uh, black Dominicans were deported from the Dominican Republic with their children born in the Dominican Republic living in condition not fit for human beings I was like flabbergasted by what I saw in Haiti so I know Haiti is not ready to welcome or absorb any refugee right now so I urge Canada and that's what I'm gonna uh, impress upon the the, the, the representative to stop all deportations, respect the rights of the process, while we continue our campaign here to discourage those with TPS to leave and uh, trying to get the Trump administration to renew TPS and getting Congress to work uh, to, to find protections, the permanent protections for these people.